All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own arrow wraps for pretty much pennies on the dollar instead of spending, shoot, 12 to $14 for 12 wraps. Screw that. Now, if you're somebody who likes tiger stripes or bit real fancy wraps, this probably isn't for you. But if you're a guy like me who just likes to shoot white and do, you know, elaborate fletchings, you know, that this is for you, so. <clears throat> what you're gonna need this is made by Fiskar I think you can get it at your Hobby Lobby all it is is a vinyl cutter or it might do paper too I'm not sure but I know for sure it does vinyl <clears throat> and you're going to need adhesive vinyl do not get iron on vinyl for obvious reasons 3m makes a good vinyl for this this is just a rando it had a good price I mean, five feet of this in length, 12 inches tall. That's, <clears throat> that's a lot of wraps. I think this was $13 for a tube of it. You get five feet of it. So it, that's a lot. It's because I cut these at an inch and a quarter wide. They're 12 inches long. I just cut them in half. I cut them at six inches. So every inch and a quarter, you're getting two, uh, two wraps. That's a lot of wraps for... 12 13 dollars but anyhow <clears throat> and what i did to find the measurements i got on like my lancaster magazine look at your wraps and they'll tell you four inches by one inch or whatever now your standard carbon arrow like uh, diameter like a 0.243 like a victory v force or a gold tip hunter i run them a little bit wider just because i like to have enough overlay so i cut these at an inch and a quarter wide now, if I run like my Victory Vaps, I, I cut them at one inch in width and my Easton Axis, I'll probably cut, it's not gonna hurt anything to have an inch and a quarter, but I would probably cut that at a inch and an eighth in width, just so you have enough overlay. But what you'll do is you'll put your material here, you will line it up, let's see. Sorry about the sloppy camera work. I gotta get a camera holder. But put it in, we see inch, quarter, right there's where we wanna line it up. Which I'm not gonna actually cut this one, but we'd line it up on inch and quarter all the way down. Have it pressed up against the wall. Put our hand down on this. Put good pressure so it doesn't move. And this is your cutter. Now, I'm a little excessive because I don't want to make two swipes down and it doesn't cut. So I'll do five or six swipes, you know, one, two, three, four, a full length. You lift this up, pull out your piece, which is this. Then after that's done, like I said, they're 12 inches long. I like to cut them right in half. <clears throat> so. You run this down, put it on the six inch mark, roughly. I mean, it's you can be as anal about this as you want. You can have them exact. To me, they're a couple sixteenths different in length from each other. I don't care. But I'll get my mark in there, cut them in half, slice, slice, slice. Make sure, you know, you go three or four times, make sure you get a clean cut. But after that, you're left with the remains. I mean, a six inch white wrap. They're a little harder to get apart than your typical wrap from like boning, but it's not difficult. I, I've got big hands, so I take a little pocket knife and get the blade in between the paper and the vinyl, whip it off there, and I fletch my arrows just like I would any other. So, but here are some collar options. I mean, I find white to be the best. It's just all, all across the board, the same out of every company. Um, you know, this one, I had a little bit of trouble. The old lady wanted it for her arrows, and it has enough of a backbone to it that once it's wrapped around the arrow, it'll unwrap itself because it wants to be flat. The blue's fine. The green's fine. Um, one thing I do that might be a little different for most people, I do it even with boning wraps. When I go to fletch my arrows, of course, I'll... Get the shaft clean, then I'll take acetone on paper towel and clean it. Then I'll put my wrap on. 
once I get my wrap on, I'll take acetone on paper towel and I'll clean the wrap. It people might not like to do it. I I'm kind of kind of anal about fletching my shafts, but I have no problems with it. I mean, you don't want to get a ton of acetone on a piece of paper towel and just saturate this thing because if you do that, you're going to ruin it. But a couple quick swipes up and down doesn't hurt it at all and cleans it. It I don't know. I I've never really taken the time to actually count how many wraps I get out of this, but I know it is way cheaper than buying wraps from boning if you just like to shoot plain colors like I do. But, all right, guys, that's kind of my little redneck tech tip. Figured I'd share that with you, maybe help you save a couple dollars. But if you're interested in this, go down to your nearest Hobby Lobby. It's a little expensive to get it started, but this thing pays off for itself pretty quick. This was like, uh, I think almost $40 for this thing, but I'm gonna have it a lifetime pretty much. You know, I've, I don't know how many wraps I've made, but Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart even carries the adhesive vinyl. So, you know, just take a look around, see what you like. You might buy a spool and you don't really care for it. It's not what you wanted. Try a different color. This stuff works at, you know, I, like I said, this my little tip. Figured I'd help some people out if they wanted it. But alrighty guys, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. It'll help me grow a little bit. But have a good day.